Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and today is a day that I'm driving in my car and I'm having all of these messages come at me. So it's something I want to share with you. It is something that may resonate, may not resonate. But a lot of things that are going on in our world, we kind of have to look at and maybe look at from a higher perspective. So for me, I look at the world, the world events, and I may have an opinion, but ultimately I try to see and understand all perspectives because for me, that means I'm going to learn something. So that's the way I look at things that are happening. And I try to read different opinions and try to feel into them and understand them. And I'm not saying that that's for you, but I'm just sharing with you how I come at a lot of things that are going on. And I look at school, I mean, I look at Earth as a school, and I look at all of the experiences, even if they're very traumatic, as things that we as a whole human collective need to work on to heal and or things that we personally need to look at within ourselves because everything is a reflection of ourselves and I try to stay neutral and I try to see it from all angles okay so there's the spiel I wanted to start with that now as I'm driving the car I'm having all of this stuff coming at me so I want to begin with this idea of the body and how it is nobody's right to tell you what you can do with your body when it comes to abortions and I want you to take yourself back to last year when that same concept maybe not to do with abortion but to do with a shot was being thrown at people and if you're someone that is now very um, one way about this and feels that it's unacceptable everybody has a right to decide what is right for their body I want to ask you to go back a year ago and did you feel that same way because there were a lot of people that didn't want to inject themselves with this brand new stuff it's brand new and nobody knew about it and were you someone that got it so you didn't think anything about it and you didn't even really understand the people that were experiencing it in a different way because they didn't want to put it in their body, but they were being forced to. Can you see what went on last year? And because of a lot of complacency that went on, there was so much trauma that was caused from it. And now it's just showing up in a different way this year. And I wonder if those people that were triggered this year, if they even realized last year, it was basically the same concept a group of people trying to control the most of the population to tell them what to do with their body. It's coming up again and it's coming up again in a different way. Now potentially by it coming up again in this way it may awaken many. However my wonder and curiosity is is it just awakening people because it's something that they now might be afflicted by or they are passionate about, but last year it didn't even dawn on them what was happening to people in a similar situation. Another thing I wanna talk about is what is going on with regards to guns and mental illness. This is not one-sided, and I hope that you understand that. I hope that you can stand from a 20,000 feet perspective and understand that we have a lot of things going on, just like we do actually with abortions. Yes, you should have the right to do what you want to do with your body. But when it's a baby at nine months, is that right then? Is it no different than killing a child that's a five-year-old when it's a nine-month-old or a baby that's coming out already born? There are so many gray areas to all of these different things that are coming at us. And they're coming at us for us to learn. Are we learning anything? Or are we in this continuous, perpetual, angry state that all we're doing is going on this hamster wheel of anger and frustration and not helping ourselves and not helping ourselves to heal and helping the world to heal? So... 
I'm coming on today to invite you to look at things not from one side, not from one way, to be able to look and approach each experience that you see going on in the world from all angles. Last night, there was a press conference, or yesterday, there was a press conference in Texas and the, the um, police officer or the director of public safety or whatever his title was, at one point broke down and I could feel his, his heartache because he came out there to try to answer the question the best that he could with the facts that he had. And at one point he couldn't take it anymore because it is a heartbreaking situation. And now it looks like the narrative is gonna twist and turn to blame someone, which he may or may not be to blame, I don't know. But here we go again in this low vibrational energy. Blaming helps no one. Blaming the president, blaming this one, blaming a business, blaming corporation. We continuously are perpetuating over and over one situation after another situation after another situation in this world and we are not helping ourselves in the long run when and where can you now listening to this if you got this far six and a half minutes in where can you step back and step up where can you look at things from a higher perspective where can you say, maybe I need to understand more. Maybe I need to be learning more. And that doesn't mean you have an opinion one way or another or blame somebody. It just means you try to come from more of a neutral standpoint. See, a lot of people have so many emotional wounds that when these things happen in the world, yes, you're getting triggered. Yes, it's a reflection for you to find a way inside of yourself to heal something but how many are actually doing the work? And that goes back to the mental health as well. Because if you don't do the work, if I don't do the work, then our mental health is not healthy. It's not fully healthy. So not a like very light and airy message that came through today, but a message that is necessary, a message that is important. I read something today on Facebook. Someone posted, don't say happy Memorial Day. Say, I forgot what he said, but don't say happy because it's not happy. These people that fought for our freedoms and our rights, it's not a happy occasion, but it is one that we gained because of what service they put forth for us. So how are you serving the community the human consciousness we have too many people far and wide that are serving themselves and nobody else in the long run their opinions are serving themselves and nobody else in the long run and i'm encouraging you as much as you can to the best of your ability and that's what i do for you and whoever listens to my messages some sort of service for others, service for our human collective, service for healing, service for compassion, service for love, service for our creator, who is looking down now and watching the mess and the chaos that we are in. Let's do better. Let's do better for ourselves. Let's love on people more, not just because it serves us, but because it serves them as well. I hope that there was something in this message that helped and served you. And I wish you a great weekend and a great month into June. And I hope that we can raise the vibration of this world even just a little bit by taking a little more blame, judgment, shame, guilt out of the equation and adding in a little bit more of love. Have a great day. Bye-bye.